Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. You know, I do a lot of smoking in this old smoker that I converted. Well, it's an old refrigerator freezer that I converted. It's really what it is. I got it for $5 out of the junkyard. They won't let you go out and do that anymore, but at that time you could. What it was is an old freezer, and it's insulated, and I went out and got it for $5, okay? The bottom part here uh, was a compressor. I tore all that out, and what I did is I put a coal, or a hot plate down there, and then I would cold smoke, which means below 100 degrees, and I had a hole. I drilled a hole up through the base of this so the smoke could come up. Well, that's great for just cold smoking, but if you want a hot smoke, actually cook whatever you're going to do. Cold smoking is great for cheese and when you first start out with fish, when I first start out when I do my turkeys and everything like that, I, I do what's called cold smoking to really allow a lot of smoke to go into the, the whatever the product I'm doing so that when you start heating it up it doesn't start cooking on the outside of the product and it doesn't want to allow the uh, smoke flavor to go into them. Inside here what I have is a turkey cooker. This is a common turkey. I have a run line through here. It hooks out to my propane tank and I can adjust that. This is what I use once I get it going. See, I used to I, it worked okay with the hot plate down there for creating the smoke, but it would run an hour, then it run out. Then you had to load it back up with chips and start all over again. Well, my brother Steve was awesome. He sent me what's called the Smoke Daddy, and it mounts right through the wall of my smoker right here. Okay? What's really cool about this is I can start, say I'm going to smoke fish or anything, and I only want to maintain uh, 110 degrees when I very first start smoking it. I want, to, I want to get a lot of smoke going, but I don't want to be cooking it right away. Well, now I can adjust the burner real low, and with this smoke daddy, and I'll show you, there's a really neat unit, and I'll put a link under the video. So yeah, this smoke daddy, they call it a cold smoker because it's putting out, I have a, um, I don't have it right here, but I have an air pump that hooks right to the end of this hose. And inside here is a little venturi. See, it's a little tube. It shoots just before it gets to the hole and creates a vacuum. It's kind of like when you're going to blow on a campfire to get it going. You're just going, and you're blowing to keep the fire going. Well, I fill this thing with wood, wood chips. I light it from the bottom. This cap comes off, and just I take a blowtorch and just... Little, you know, little handheld blue tank and heat it, and smoke will start rolling out of there, and the, the embers will just keep going. and It will run for about two hours when it's completely full, which is great because I'll get massive amounts of smoke, but I won't get uh, the heat, and I don't want the heat right away. Now, if I just wanted to cold smoke some bacon that's already cured, or I want to cold smoke uh, some uh, cheese, I wouldn't need anything else but this. This would be great for cold smoking because you don't want to create any heat when you're doing that. But this is just my my smoker. Like I said, what I did here uh, that helped out, I put uh, some racks on the side here, these, and I screwed them to the side. This is just some old uh, fixture railing or something my wife had, and I screwed that to the sides and it works great. And then these are aluminum and metal. I went out to uh, Fleet Farm. And just got them and cut them to size, uh, some little angle iron here, anything to support. And I set racks on. Sometimes I hang, um, I have little uh, baskets I can put my turkeys in and hams. You can order them off the internet. There's a lot of places to get them, supply houses. It's a, uh, like a plastic bag or you can get cloth ones that you actually hang the product. Then, then I'll hang them from the very top. The reason I got this right here is so I don't get drip from the smokestack, little black spots on my, so it protects it. Smoke goes off around, still goes off the chimney, but I just don't want any moisture condensation. Uh, you'll get, if, if it drops right below, them, so that blocks that off. But this works great. I have smoked, I'll smoke six, eight turkeys at a time in there. And it works fantastic. Matter of fact, this week I'm gonna smoke uh, another uh, bunch for some friends of ours that are leaving town that would love to have some. I just smoked, three turkey breasts 
that came out just, I mean, just absolutely awesome. And if you want to know how to do it with a commercial cure and do it in a professional way, check the link below my video and you will see on how I did that. But if you want to build your own, if you're going to do one, don't go get an old refrigerator that's got plastic insides. Uh, you don't want to create enough heat. If you're going to just cold smoke in a cheese or something, that's fine. But if you start creating any heat, you better find an old woman with metal. You're better off to go to like a restaurant supply place. Maybe it has an old beat up when the compressor went out of them. Or a restaurant fire. I'd start calling around restaurant supply houses and stuff that sell secondhand and used stuff. They might have one that was traded in and the compressor went out of them. Talk around some of these implement places that work on commercial refrigeration units and restaurants and stuff. Uh, you know, that our repair companies. They might say, yeah, we got one sitting around back. The uh, compressor went on. We took it out and moved it out and gave them a new one. You might be able to get one like that. If you can find one that's insulated like this, it really keeps the heat even. I mean, look at the insulation in these doors, see? Unbelievable. They're thick. So when I create heat in here, it keeps it uh, nice, even all the way wherever I put the stuff. I do jerky in there. I beef, beef, I do uh, sausage, smoked summer sausage. Uh, like I said, the turkeys or any wild game or anything. But this is what you want. Is uh, there's nothing magical about it. I put a smokestack on it so I can regulate that, and uh, so I can leave it wide open or damp it back a little bit. But you want to be able to create uh, smoke but not be able to get the heat right away. Now, if you can come up with some kind of little burner or something, a smaller burner, I would recommend going with a smaller little thin pan or something that doesn't have to have as much heat before the chips start smoldering, okay? But I just, people have asked me about this old smoker of mine, and this old thing has just been, I put, I did put through the door here, a temperature gauge, so I can monitor the temperature in the cabinet, okay? Also, I use a, all the time an electronic thermometer and with the wire that I mount set right up on top and I stick into my turkey or my ham or whatever I'm going so I know the internal temperature of that product without having to open the door. That's the biggest thing with any smoker. Get everything set so you're not constantly opening the door. But I just wanted to give you a little run around and show you what, uh, what was going on here. A little round the block uh, trip. This is the smoker. And that I smoke a lot of stuff in. I'll put a link to uh, uh, some of the things I smoke. Smoked salmon, I've smoked, uh, uh, like I said, bacon in it, uh, hams. Or I'll put a link to some of those videos and you can check it out, okay? This is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.